Hit music. She I'm up. <laughs> You may all be seated. Look at you guys. It's now time for Lisa and Jason to take that final step before the law of our great land and state their vows to each other. However, before they do so, I advise they will state their vows in accordance with the great and ancient traditions of the Gaelic Celts, where for a thousand years of known history, Every high king of Ireland had his foot upon the Lea Fail, Ireland's famous stone of destiny, when he was crowned. During 445 AD, that stone was taken to Scotland for the crowning of Fergus Mor McGarrick uh, as the first king of the Scots Irish, who later was to become known as the Highlanders. That tradition continued until 1296, where Edward I of England stole the stone from the Scots. From then, every English monarch from the crowning of King Edward II in 1306 up to and including King Charles III just last year in 2022 were all sitting upon the same stone of destiny when crowned as they swore their promises to their people as each will of their successors. At the village level, vows and promises were sworn over a local stone, hence the phrase set in stone. Jason and Lisa will state their vows to each other while binding the stone between their hands. On completion with their bound wrists, the setting in stone their vows, which will therefore be unbreakable. And yes, as with tying the knot, the modern day phrase setting in stone comes directly to us from the traditions and rituals of our ancient Celtic forebearers. Tiara, will you bind the wrist holding the stone? When we think of love, we immediately think of an inner feeling that is deep and profound within our hearts. Oh, sorry. You have now set in stone your vows, which are therefore unbreakable. Oh, she got it. Yeah, got it. Did I go down? Sorry. <laughs> when we think of love, we immediately think of our inner feeling that is deep and profound within our hearts. However, love, the very essence of love, is incomplete without some physical intimacy. When someone is touched with gentle, loving hands, love is taken to another dimension. Embracing, caressing, or simply holding hands in a relationship creates a bond that is magical and uplifting, communicating a sense of belonging. Yet more powerful than any words is the touch of hands between husband and wife, extended lovingly and timelessly through the rest of their lives and beyond. With this in mind, Lisa and Jason, you will now reach out to one another at the commencement of your journey as a married couple with the gift of their hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when you, f when you fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that, with countless times, wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams and comfort through difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even in the twilight of your years, you will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. May these hands always reach out with love, tenderness, and respect. May these hands continue to build a loving relationship that lasts a lifetime. Here we are, my love. Finally. 
where I was always meant to be with you. <sighs> you are my past, my present, and my future. Thank you for sharing your love, your family, and your friends with me. From the moment I heard your voice that beautiful day, all I knew was that I had to live this precious and short life with you. From the moment we saw each other so many years ago, and as my heart raced, I knew for sure it was real, and it had always been very real. I swore from that moment I would never let you go. For the first time, I can breathe. Not right now, but normally I can't. <laughs> I felt alive and purpose-filled. A peace that I've never known. A feeling of real love. That connection, that's undeniable. So from this moment forward, my sweetheart, my trophy sweetheart, my precious, dearest Jay, these are the vows and the promises that I make to you. I promise to love you every second of every minute of every day. My love for you is the guarantee, no matter what life throws at us, I will love you truly, honestly, madly, and deeply. I promise to always be your best friend. I will always share a car enthusiasm. I love a football, concerts, music, and all the things travel. I will always watch science fiction with you. I will always join in events that you love because now I love them too. And of course, we will always play our board games and our card games. Yeah, of course, that's what I mean, baby, just games. Yeah. <laughs> I promise to be truthful. My word you can always count on. Be it good or bad, truthful, I will always be. You are my one and only, and I will always tell you, thank you. What is on my mind, so you never question my love or devotion for you. I promise to celebrate us every day. Today is about us, the life we have created and continue to grow. I will celebrate being your nasty, I'm nasty girl. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Every day. To honor your name. And our life is a gift. And thank you for giving that to me. I will always protect our bubble. That is our life. I promise to communicate as effectively as I can, for I am a Pisces and I am emotional. I will. So I'm having snot issues. It's not very pretty. That's real love right there. I will listen to you with an open mind and heart and express my feelings. I promise to make you my priority. I promise to love you every day with intention. You are my life. I will make decisions with you, dream with you, celebrate your success, and cry the rest with you. Because that's what keeps us moving forward. I promise to be faithful to you. I will never keep secrets or break our bond. I will never betray your trust in me. These promises, vows that I make to you, you and I are a partnership that is loving and protected. I want to continue to share every second with you and continue our precious love story. Because in case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Lisa Marie, take you, Jason William, to be my lawful wedded husband. Do you accept? So, 
Thank you. Lisa. No, right, hang on, baby. <laughs> we have cameras everywhere. I can't get away from them. I can't get away. Oh, well. Oh, I can't. I love you. And I love what you do to my soul. You've shown me that if it's love, you don't have to force it. You can't stop it. It's what's meant for you. You can't silence what is for you. I stand here grateful and very humble before you and all of our friends and our family. And we were all brought here together <laughs> by truly the glory of God and, and this amazing time, this amazing adventure we had. And I am just so grateful for our friendship and for all of your friendship and the true love that you have brought here for us today. Meeting you was serendipitous. We remained friends for so many years. It was fortuitous. But on that fateful day, March 20, 2021, I called and wished you a happy birthday. And the only thing you said to me was, are you ready? Instantly, my ship was upright. My path was absolutely clear. I was aligned. My heart was full. And though you said nothing more than, are you ready? My answer was, what took you so long? Yes. I knew exactly what you were asking without hesitation. Those words, when I replied to you, they weren't thought out. They weren't practiced. They literally came through me from the universe, from God, to tell me it was right. And I had been waiting without knowing that it was right. From that day, from that moment on, a million eyes couldn't see the beauty that I see when I look at you. A million fingertips couldn't touch me the way you do. A million minds could not fathom the depth of my love. A million flowers spread across the plains of Spain could never fill my world with color. Of course, the stars, a million stars can't shine as brightly as you shine. A million hours will never be enough. A million souls could never ignite my heart for you. A million galaxies couldn't swirl in my heart. I feel about that. A million miles could never even separate us. And a million degrees could never be as one of the years. <laughs> There's a million things that I could say and nothing would do the justice. So I'll just commit. I commit to you to give you a reason to smile every day. I commit all of my love for you with all of my heart every moment. I commit to resolve conflict quickly when we disagree and to reassure you always constantly of my love before, during, and after an argument. I commit to protect our bubble under all circumstances, which is something I never truly understood until I met you. I commit to grab, grow, or spank your beautiful ass every day. <laughs> <laughs> It's a thing. <laughs> you are the love of my life. For always, for all points. I love you. So I call upon the people here today and present to witness that I, Jason William Mass, take you, Lisa Murray, to be my love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Jason and Lisa, please exchange the rings in. Hola! Hola! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, hey, it is Jason and Lisa. And JNL Cafe! Welcome to JNL Cafe. Also, welcome to the new year, which is uh, Feliz Año Nueve. Yes. And we're very excited about that. Uh, so, we are here in Cancun, and there is, uh, we're off the water, and we're broadcasting tonight uh, about our seven tips for an incredibly successful beautiful wonderful and happy 2023 so let's talk a little bit about that and uh, kind of get to know things about that like there's a whole bunch of questions that people ask us all oh, the time a lot like, of questions. Like, what, like what's one of the questions um did you win the lotto <laughs> are you just wealthy did you sell everything so that you can travel the way that you do because most of you know we are in Cancun for Christmas and New Year's. And and, and, and that's a, a great question. We all, People think that we're like super rich. We're, we're not. By all means, we are definitely not. We just make different choices. And when I say different choices, I don't mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't go to Starbucks because we literally have gone to Starbucks probably five out of seven days here. We went this. today, by the way. So it's not about starving yourself. It's not about neglecting yourself or anything like that. Anything like that. It's just about the choices you make. And we're going to talk a lot about that today. And we're going to kind of go over the tips. The last seven days we've been posting a tip a day. Just the tip. Just the tip. And um, we're going to kind of go over those tips today. So on the very first day we posted, just the tip was make every day an adventure. Had some questions about that actually. Yeah. And what's considered an adventure? What, yeah, what we mean by an adventure is every single day can be an adventure. It doesn't have to be an international trip. It, it doesn't have to be um, going on vacation for two weeks or anything like that. Literally every you day. You plan it. You don't have to plan it. Uh, we go to Sonic when we're back in the States. We go to Sonic all the time. And when we go to Sonic, we always make it an adventure. We turn the wrong direction. We go uh, the a new way. And we live in a very small town in Tennessee, so there's not a lot of new ways to go. We have but, a town square, though. But we found that just by going a different way or, or circling the, the town square, we see new things, we meet new people, and we're just always on that little adventure ride to see what something we can point out new especially during the holidays oh my god it's a great time to make it's the a wrong turn it's a great turns. time to make the wrong turn and uh, and you'll see you know lights and houses and and, and uh, as i mentioned to jay people that put up their christmas tree way too early now we'll have them at you'll see them on the street on corner, the street corner yeah, for early, the trash right, yeah. it's and the then, greatest and some people leave their christmas tree up through february which we love that as well so and it gives you something to laugh about when you when you drive by so, so you have a good time yeah. and just make the day an adventure uh you know if you go to work and, and maybe your spouse goes to work and uh you know you're working all day you're like how do i make that an adventure uh here tip go just go on the way home stop at a circle k a 7-eleven or whatever um buy the rose right two dollars and 99 cents do that one time this beautiful man will actually go out of his way to grab me a dr pepper but you but have no no idea how incredibly important that is because that is a staple to me and it's hard to find here and he goes out of his way because he knows it's something that i love and uh that's such, it's just a treat and that's it it's just the little things it, and, and maybe that's what it is maybe yeah. getting a dr pepper maybe getting a, a a soda getting um 
french fries. Not, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It's just something special and different. Just make it fun. Make it an so. adventure and something that you guys talk about after and laugh about. Yeah, we people. laugh more about the dumb things we have done, Absolutely. the different routes we have taken. Uh, they happen to have a Veterans Day memorial service going on. We jump in on it. If it's raining outside, which it has been at yeah. home, Go out and dance in it. Or, 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 Enjoy or midnight it. moon watching. Midnight moon. Looking at the stars, trying to figure out where the different uh, constellations are. Just yeah. having good times like that. So. Yeah. Is it waxing? Is it waning? It's a question we still have. <laughs> still so have, yeah. if you have the answer, let us know. But which, that's our adventure. Which kind of leads us to, to tip number two, yeah. which is give memories, not trinkets. Yeah. Now, th this is a big one for us because we're it on a, a month-long journey here in Cancun and we decided by communication a long time ago that we wanted to uh, not be in below sub-freezing temperatures so we left Tennessee and came to Cancun for the entire month so we left middle of December and we're not going back till the middle of January and we thought well in order to do that we're not going to buy Christmas presents for each other. That was a hard decision as well. It's hard to, to it's not hard. buy a gift for the person you love, but you have to stick to it because yeah. otherwise one person feels bad, the other person doesn't. The wor yeah, exactly. The worst thing that would have happened was my ego kick in and think, well, I need to surprise him with something. That would have been the worst thing because it would have made Jay feel bad and he loves me. And I love him. And the decision we made a long time ago was for our birthdays, let's travel, let's see somewhere different. And then for Christmas, we made the decision this year since we knew, first of all, we were going to have sub-zero temperatures and right. both of us have arthritis and blah, blah, blah. Plus, we wanted to have water and fun and sun. Let's spend Christmas somewhere different. Let's do it economically, something we would spend on gifts for each other. We have everything we need. We both agreed we just wanted to make memories. We're at a time in our life where that's important. And so my sweetheart came up with the idea of Cancun. And, and actually, I didn't necessarily come up with the idea that's of Cancun. True. We're going to talk true. about that later. That's true. But, but we just made a decision that we would rather travel than have trinkets. Trinkets. And, and we give each other those memories. Now, here's what's really cool about that is we're not limiting it to just Christmas. We do that for our birthdays as well. That's for right. our birthdays, we have agreed no gifts. We're traveling instead. That is our gift to each other. And uh, and we made a commitment to each other to travel as often as possible. And when we do that, we, we do that to create the memory. And that means when we're out and we're in Cancun and we're looking, I happen to be wearing a Cancun shirt today. Me too. But we're looking at shirts and t-shirts and things like this. Yeah, you want to go get souvenirs. You want to get that little plaque for the wall. You want to buy the picture. You want to do... We don't do that. We we, uh, we make a commitment to buy one shirt while we're gone at a new location, new places. Scuba diving is probably our most expensive and, expense. And now we're talking about not even getting t-shirts like this, but in fact only investing in shirts in places that we scuba dive. Yeah. And, and we don't both need a shirt. We'll get one Just shirt one. for her one time, one shirt for me the next time, and it's perfectly Whatever fine. Whatever make it, makes it work, and that's part of the communication of how do we make this work without winning the lotto, without selling everything, how do we make this work? And we'll talk more about that yeah. in just a little yeah. bit. But before we do that, let's get to tip number three. Now, this is a big one. Now, tip number three, you're one. watching us right now. <laughs> on social media. On social media. But social media, you have to understand, is for you not for attention, right? That's right. Not for your audience. That's right. It's all about you. And, and I, I want to talk a little bit about that and what that means to us yeah. individually because Lisa has a little different perspective on it than I do, but we, we understand each other's perspective. So tell everybody how you feel about what does social media for you not for attention mean to you? So one of the things I love about social media is if you know me, you know I love hearts. I'm a Pisces, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I am all about the positive message. And so anytime either one of us see anything with hearts, I share it. So my thinking is when I share my heart, I'm sharing love. I'm sharing positive affirmations. I'm one of those ridiculous people that does, I do my positive affirmations for myself every morning. And 
So when I share those, I'm sharing love and peace and sharks and hearts, as we all know. <laughs> yeah, peace, love, hearts, hearts and, and sharks. sharks. That's yeah. my life, right, and my precious Jay. So that's what I think of as social media. But I will tell you, I never look back and think, oh gosh, I wish somebody would have liked it, or I wish I would have put something on for someone else. I never think past that point. I want to share my love. I want to share my love of people. I want to share my love of positive affirmation. That's truly the only thing I think of. I never think about the return of it. I'm lucky enough that I have the return of love at home. So I don't have to do that on social media. And, and what I look at this is, is, I look at social media for you, not for the attention or not for your audience. Yeah. Meaning, so we post on TikTok and on Instagram and on YouTube. And when we do, like we may have like one video hits 800,000 views. And when it hits 800,000 views, the logical, the algorithm, the uh, the all the gurus out there yeah. tell you, you need to repost your most popular video all the time. Like every couple of weeks, repost it, repost it. It'll boost your views. And we do none of that. We're so we, grateful. We love you all. We also don't even but, look at like, what did we do different on yeah. that one that gave us 800 views, 800,000 views versus one that gave us 20 views? You just get us. We just get us, right? So, so one of the things we do with that is we post it for our experience. Now we love sharing things with you about what we're doing and hopefully, hopefully, we're inspiring some of you to like start taking that moment and jump and go, we're gonna travel a little bit more. We're gonna do a little bit different adventure. We're gonna take an adventure on our own, whether it's going to get ice cream on a random rainy exactly. Saturday. Exactly. Uh, but dancing just, in the rain. Just enjoying yourself and hopefully we inspire that. But we don't do it for the algorithm, for the likes, for the hearts, for the commentary. We do it because we want to and we enjoy it. Now, that leads to the second part of this yeah. for me. Yeah. For me, when we post social media posts, we post this because we live this every day. We're gonna talk more about that in a minute, but we go back and watch the videos that we posted in the past. It's the greatest. And if you're on, I'm sure Google, uh, we use Google, but if you're on Apple or you're on Microsoft or whatever you're doing, these memories pop up of all the pictures you take. We absolutely love that. That's it's like the greatest. The greatest it's feeling the greatest. when I wake up in the morning and it says, revisit your time with Lisa. Revisit last Tuesday. Revisit a Wednesday. And I love that because it's all our adventures and dreams that we share. And then what we do is we go through those. We just did our 2022 recap. Yep. Went through thousands of pictures and narrowed it down to 100 pictures and then took those 100 pictures and narrowed it down to 20 pictures so that we could recap 2022. And if you're watching us, you can see that recap on right our now. channel right now. Yeah, right now. Are. But the it's cool part by one it. too, because we still need two, because yeah. 20 was way too few pictures. 2022 was just a, a <laughs> that tremendous was adventure yeah. for us. We, we traveled a lot and we did a lot of amazing, incredible things. Yeah. But we did that, and, but it wasn't just posting a video for us. It was hours of looking back at our old pictures and laughing, laughing and giggling our butts and off. remembering and it. And it wasn't just selfies and pictures of us. It was a picture of a road. A church. A church. Cathedral, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we, An arrow. when we did when we did the uh, the Camino de Santiago in Portugal in Spain, you know, there's uh, there's pictures of shells and and arrows that point the way. You know, all roads lead to Santiago, and we would just take a picture of that arrow, and it would be spray painted on the ground. And you guys know what Graceland means to me. That was incredible. That was an incredible experience. Yeah. So just the random things like that but we relive them. And we're gonna talk more about that a little bit later. Um, so when it comes to social media, just knowing that you're doing social media for you is the most important thing. Forget everybody else. Hey, by the way, if you get a thousand likes or 800,000 views or whatever, yippee! But if you don't, yippee! It's okay. Who cares, right? It's still right? you. It's, it's still, still you. you. And, and you, you should back, be celebrated. You can go back and look at that That's anytime right. you want. So, Another one, and this is a really good one. This one, Lisa yes, really wanted to put in this is big. Here. This is big, guys. Tip number four is live your life without fear of what others think. Now, 
Welcome to the story of my life before I met this sweet, beautiful man. Well, I've always lived uh, my life in, in a way that I love to be inclusive and, and, and have other people uh, be joining in or appreciative of. But I learned a long time ago that most people think I'm crazy and they don't understand what it is I'm doing. And rather than sit around trying to explain it all the time, I just go do. Um, I've had people tell me that, oh, you can't just pack up and travel for nine months out of the year. Uh, instead of saying, yeah, I really like the idea of doing that. I want to do that. I'm, I'm not there yet, but I want to do that. Instead, I just did it. And that, and here I am uh, with the love of my life traveling actually 10 months this year. Right. So we really stop explaining ourselves to other people and looking for their approval or their uh, their permission, we just go live our lives. And it is amazing to me how much freer we are. And now this lovely lady here, she has a different story about this. So. Completely different. When I met this beautiful man in 2006, um, I was with my cousin on a cruise, as most of you know, and both of us were so fascinated by him. I was fascinated because all of these sparks and crazy things happened in my soul. But other than that, we'll focus on right now, was that he loved to travel. And it was something that we talked about a lot. And you could not help but just sit and listen in awe. It was something, I'm a Texas girl. I've lived in Texas my whole life, 52 years before I moved to Tennessee. And travel I did, but it was by car. And it was by myself. And sometimes I was lucky enough to have Amy with me my cousin and sometimes I was lucky enough to have my mother but most of the time it was either me or my dog and I had come become accustomed to that because I worried about what other people thought when I mentioned that I wanted to go do something the whole crowd you could hear them take a breath and I thought well if they don't think it's right well then it, it can't be right and then on top of that I thought well I, I can't fly because no one in my family has flown so well it must mean i'm gonna die so i can't all of this fear guys overtook my body and therefore i did nothing it's important for you to hear that word nothing from 52 to zero i had done nothing i had taken cruises i'd gone on a few drives by myself across country but let me tell you when you take a picture of the garden of the gods or Pikes Peak and you come home to Texas and you show people pictures, they're simply going to see rocks. They're not going to see what you saw. And meeting Jay was not only what God had meant for me to do, he's my soulmate, but it also changed my life with an in-depth conversation that we had. And, and, and it, it's fun to think that your, your ability to travel, this this young lady here was uh, 52 years 52? old before she took her first flight. That's right. And I had many intentions, by the way. I'd gotten on planes and gotten my happy butt right off because of the fact of fear. Think, okay. about, think about what fear is as well. And this was something you taught me. Yeah. Fear is something you've never experienced before. So think about that. If you fear something, because I feared horribly of flying because it was the unknown. What Jay taught me was how can I be fearful of something I've never done? Never experienced, yeah. Please think about that because it was life changing for me. And, and over time, you think to yourself, um, is it important? Yeah. And if it is important to you, then you have to have a conversation with the love of your life to talk about That's that. Right. That's right. Uh, before we get into the relationship details though <laughs> let's talk about travel we just dropped How a big fun. bomb and talked about traveling yeah. in those 10 months this year let's talk about what that means tip number five is budget adventures does not mean cheap adventures no and and it's very important to understand that so when you plan your travel correctly it is actually in, in our case in this yeah. particular case it's less expensive for us to spend a month in Cancun than it is to stay home. That's right. So that, let's just be really clear about that. It's cheaper for us to be out of the country in a warm climate than it would be to be home. Do most people even think about or write down or chart what they spend for Christmas? 
Have Probably you actually right? <laughs> have you actually spent Only the when time? The credit card bills that's true. <laughs> that is true. Have you actually thought about what you spent for Christmas last year? Gas money, wrapping paper, invitations, cards, gifts, the time. Food, parties. Yeah. Right, exactly. So, How much do you spend? It would blow your mind. So and and so something interesting to think about that though is like, and we'll talk a little about how we did what yeah. we did there. Um, so we're in Cancun for a month, okay. and currently we are sitting uh, on the dock, uh, beautiful water Puerto behind Cancun. us, Puerto Cancun, Puerto Cancun, beautiful catamaran over there, big buildings. We're not staying here. Um, what we did, well, and we used tools, by the way, to help us find budget adventures, not cheap, but budget, and uh, we spent many months looking at this we look at I watch flights all the time so when we first talked about Christmas and not getting gifts for each other the, the question was where do you want to go and we don't say oh we want to go to Cancun no or we want to go to Mexico no clue. What we say is we want warm we want water and we want to be able to scuba dive yeah. okay so three it's that simple yeah it's that simple so I use a tool called uh, uh, Google Flights or flights.google.com. And instead of going in and saying, I want to go from Memphis or Nashville or Houston or whatever to a destination, what I do is I go over to the Explore section. And in the Explore section, I just put in the airport I want to leave from. And I put for two weeks, two months, whatever. And I just put in like August or just December and what that does is it tells me then a map pops up and shows you the cheapest flights from that airport to all of the destinations you're the going uh, all thing. of them like it's anything the and you just scroll around the earth and you look well it just so happened we wanted something south so we were looking at South America Central America which could have been you know Cartagena uh, could have been um, could have been Nicaragua, could have been Portugal, I mean, I mean uh, Panama, it could have been Costa Rica, could have been Mexico. And we looked and looked and there was this deal, this round trip airfare for like $182. Well, that's cheap, right? So we thought, okay, we know the airfare now, we can go for a month for about $400 round trip for both of us, including all of our bags and everything else. Now, let's look at where we can stay. Make that part of your adventure, so, by the way. So we knew that we could come here to Cancun, but Cancun has a lot of opportunity. You can be in Cancun proper, you could go to Cozumel, just a ferry ride away, you could go to Isla Majeur, you could go down to Playa del Carmen, the River Maya, you could go to Tulum. So there's lots of places to look. So then we get on Airbnb. And on Airbnb, we just type in uh, the the general area and again a map pops up and you can just scroll that map we know we wanted to be close to the water but on the water was not required now we're going to uh, tell you a little bit more about that in a second but scrolling down the map we found some really neat places in in uh, like lakeside we found really nice places waterside yes. and then we found this nice little village we found it's at about five kilometers from the water. So if we stay on the water, it's about $1,000 a week for a hotel. If we stay just five kilometers away from the water, we're paying $603 for the entire month. We have a nice little apartment, bedroom, a, a separate kitchen, dining area, small kitchen, a nice bathroom we have a private outdoor patio uh, little uh, outdoor yard um, this time we traveled with our pup so he's with us and he gets to stay there while we go out and adventure go scuba diving can't do that in a hotel that's true and all of this for six hundred and three dollars now the best part about it is it's a dollar fifty roughly 20 pesos yeah uh, uh, a dollar fifty round trip for us to get on a bus that literally stops right in front of our house and goes straight to the beach. It's so, the greatest. And if we wanted to take a cab, it's like five dollars. Okay, so it's actually today was less than that. It was like yeah. three fifty. Yeah. So 
you can travel to the water every single day and add an extra 50 bucks to your total and so your stay is 650 dollars but you're and you're coming to the beach every day but here's the best part restaurants here beachside it's expensive to eat but if our little village we just before yes two days ago we got four enchiladas six tostadas and two drinks carne meat enchiladas and and tostadas for uh it was about seven dollars and fifty cents less than ten dollars yeah. and delicious and delicious then they went next door and bought a pound of prepared carne asada and then went two doors down and they hand made hand pressed and rolled corn tortillas for us that cost us 20 cents we had to wait for them to, we had to be wait them to make them yeah to make them and now we, we have all of this we got three days worth of food and it costs us 650 so again the benefit of being five kilometers away yeah. We get to know them. Neighbor, we know yeah. that yeah. our local restaurant is Matate. Yeah. And the uh, owner, Carla, Carla is the owner. She's super sweet. She looks forward to us coming every day. We always stop. Even if we don't eat, we stop by. We say good morning. Yeah. It's a treasure. You learn the culture. You learn the people. And we've learned the language. Which well, is, well, Paquito. <laughs> it has been so beautiful. The owners of the Airbnb. They come and visit. We are so blessed to have this outdoor area where yours truly can sit out in the sun. Um, it's yeah, just we have beautiful. A, a, a rooftop yeah. deck to sit out on. It's amazing. So, so when we look at this entire adventure, uh, including airfare, including our hotel or, or Airbnb stay, including our travel back and forth to the beaches, including scuba, and scuba is kind of expensive. It, yeah, it's, it's two, our three, most expensive. Three hundred bucks an outing. Yeah, it's our We're most still going to spend less than fifteen hundred dollars for this entire month. And if you just consider that's the price of one house payment, that's right. insane, right? And so, what would you have spent for Christmas? And yeah, we're talking not, even not even Christmas, but the whole month. December 12th to January 12th. Yeah, and if you think about your house payments yeah. and your all your electric bills, your gas bills, your heating bills, right. your heating crisis, your, right. your, your fuel for your car, uh, all of the things that you would do normally, to get, and even if you eat at home every single day, you're still going to have a significantly more right. expense than, than than it is for us to be here. Now you might say, okay, but I have all those expenses back home, house payments, insurance, things yeah. like this. Well, what we did and how we afford that, we'll talk more about later in a later tip. But the bottom line is, if you budget your adventures and you don't look for the cheapest, but you look out further, you explore new places. Learn the culture. Learn the culture. Meet the people. It's incredible. When we traveled across uh, Portugal and yeah. Spain, we declared that we were going to stay in a really nice hotel once a week. Once a week. The, the rest of the week, we literally stayed in a thing called an albergue or a hostel. Yeah. Those hostels cost us like 10 euros, 12 euros a night. It was great. Bed, clean beds, showers, bathrooms. Uh, some of them even had breakfast. Some of them yep, had like a little yep. continental breakfast for 10 euros. Like it was brilliant. Do a little research and have so much more fun and such an enlightened experience. So much more fun. Yeah. So we're much we're, we're going to go back here in a couple of months. And this time we rented a motorhome. So and we and the reason it kind of came up to rent the motorhome wasn't planned. Yeah, not at all. We were planning on just getting a uh, a Euro Rail pass, and we were going to take the Euro Rail and just spend two months traveling on the Euro Rail, taking us wherever it would go, everywhere it would go. And that came out to be about twelve hundred dollars for for a forty five day Euro Rail pass each. Yeah. So we're close to twenty five to three thousand dollars. Plus, we're on a Euro Rail, so we still have to factor in hotels or albergues. And on the Euro Rail, you're not always going to find an albergue close by. Sure. So we figured that we tried to calculate like the cost of the hotels and the cost of the lesser stuff. And uh, random thought came in how much would it be for a motorhome? We have a motorhome with more than enough kilometers available on it because you pay for excess kilometers over there. Um, a motorhome, beautiful, brand new motorhome we're renting for about 
three thousand dollars, I think, is what we estimated. Total, yeah. Total, total. including the fuel costs. Yeah. Running all over. Now we're going to be able to go from Spain into France, into Italy, into Switzerland, and we're going to be able to drive all. all over that, and then come back to Spain and drive all over Spain, and we're going to do that over thirty days. How? What a blessing that is! Again, yeah. it's not cheap. But it's definitely budgeted so that we know what our expenses are when we get there and we don't overspend. We're not in plus, hotels every night. Plus we're in not a motor eating, home, Yeah, we're we not have, eating in restaurants every night. Eating, we have an eating facility. Yeah. We have a, a microwave and a stove and things like that so we can cook Sandwiches on galore because we have places to go. And we'll talk a little bit more about how we do these things and what the plan is yeah. in just a second. Yeah, so... So let's, we have more talk, tips. let's talk about the, the, the next tip. Tip number six. Big one. This is a big one. And this we alluded to earlier. When we when we go back and we look at all of our, our pictures on uh, our memories and our videos and our social media, what we're doing is literally recommitting our love for each other and our love for adventure every single day. So, so tip number six is recommit your love daily. Don't take for granted even if you're separate all day long at work and things like that text the random i yeah. love you yeah. text the random i'm thinking happy about hearts you. i'm yeah. thinking about you text the random i miss you yeah. and uh it, it it changes things and it goes a long way the, the key to that is don't preface it for something else don't go hey i'm thinking about you oh by the way what do you want for dinner tonight yeah don't do that no just hey babe I'm thinking about you. I love you. I miss you. And that reaffirms to the to the to your spouse just how much you mean to them. Well, and something I talked about earlier was they daily affirmation. Yeah. How much they mean. How much to you. they Sorry. mean. And what I talked about earlier was daily affirmations. This is something that I picked up years ago that's really very important. And I will tell you, it's hard to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how great you are or that you did a good job. But the best thing you can do is look yourself in the mirror and say, what am I going to do today to be a better mate to my sweetheart? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's I, something that we truly focus on. I, I have this belief that it, in, in a relationship, if you focus solely, 100% on that other person's smile, and they're focusing 100% on your smile, then you've got a winning combination. And that's what we have. And that's why we've been so happy. We have literally not been able to separate each other for more than, I mean, we went 24 hours and it broke It was us. bad. It was, it was bad. It was not good. I cried. But, I'm just going to be honest. But we <laughs> have this great relationship because we focus on each other's happiness. And I know that I never have to actually think about my own happiness because I know she is. I got you. It's not selfish at all. It, it's it's that we've got each other. When I say I got you, I, I got mean, I got you. you. Um, so let's bring us the next tip. This is tip number seven. Last one, guys. And it's the last one. This is the probably the most important. That it keeps, is the that most important. keeps everything just so popping. Something all the time. you taught me, and when he first did this, I'll <laughs> tell you, I thought, oh my God, I'm, am I going to be exhausted from this? <laughs> Actually, what I realized was that it continues the journey. So go ahead, Jay. So, tell so him what we, it is. I like to call it just ba the tip. Ba 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 ba. B A A F A A. It means book and adventure from an adventure. So we're here right now in Cancun, Cancun for the entire month and all through Christmas and the holidays. Now, we're already posting that as of today, 29 days 29 from now, days, what? we jump on a cruise. We jump on a cruise. And uh, we, as Lisa said, we met on a cruise. We love cruising. It's something that's passionate for both of us. It's a big cruise, you, by the way. Do you know that you can cruise for four or five days for like literally like thirty dollars a day per it's person? It's crazy. It's insane. So we're not taking these twelve thousand dollar cruises. We're taking three hundred dollar cruises, five hundred dollar cruises. A little bit of research. Cruises. It's just a little bit of research. Uh, one of my favorite tools. Now, I do have a personal uh, cruise planner at Carnival. Like I have cruised with Carnival so many times yeah. that I have this personal guy. I have a cell phone number. Um, 
I can text. I literally was you texting gladly him. gladly share his information. And by I the gladly way. share his information. <laughs> he loves it because I, I do share. He his gives out his phone number all the time. But literally, I was texting him. Like his name yeah. is Remy, by the way, Remy Hart. Uh, I was texting him like 15 minutes before we yeah. started this video. Yeah. So, and it's a Sunday on New Year's Day, yeah. but we're just wishing each other well. So, I'll do this. I'll go on Carnival, and I will just search for the cheapest cruise. And you here's will. what I find is fascinating. So, again, we live in Tennessee. So, what does that mean? That means I'm not right near a port. I mean, I am not near a port. But I know that I can drive to Houston, Texas, or to, I'm sorry, to Galveston in 11 hours. I can drive to New Orleans in about 10. And we've done that. I can drive to Jacksonville, Florida in about 9. I can drive to... Um, Tampa in about 13 hours. So those are all ports that I can travel to very easily, quickly, okay? Miami is great, Miami, Orlando, because you can find cheap flights there like all the time. So I just go and sort by cheapest cruise, and then I look for the best value and the best time. We currently have, because when we're on a trip, we're always looking forward always to the next trip. Always looking forward. We currently have five cruises booked this year. We're gonna be cruising over 38 days. And that's because we're, we again, one of our hobbies is dreaming together. Yeah, absolutely. And we look at cruises, we look at flights. What's we the look next at adventure? Different places around the world that we'd like to check out. And we watch then, once we look at it and go, that's really cool, let's check that out. Then we watch the prices of that cruise, or that location, or that airfare. And that has been such an amazing blessing. So we have 30, whatever, we have five different cruises booked, but we're already posting about the next one, and we're not even planning for the one after that yet. I mean, we're... we're well, the next one is the big one. This it's one coming really up is going to be a really, big really big one, one for us, and we'll be surprising it, you. Yeah, with so some if you guys know us, you know what the big very, one is. Very, very, very fun stuff. So I, have, be, I have a question. Careful. I have a sorry, oh, guys. Oh, she kicked sorry. The, kicked I have it a over. question. Have you ever had a conversation with your other half and actually asked them where they want to go? Well, what is on your bucket list? <laughs> and that's We've a, had that conversation. That's a big thing. Um, let, let's go back a little bit about our adventure. Yeah. So, this lady hadn't traveled on an airplane for, in, in her well, whole life. 52 years, yeah. And I already knew that I wanted to travel at least nine months out of the year. And he told me that back in 2006. I thought he was insane. And yeah, everybody did. So <laughs> um, I just designed a life. It took 20 years, by the way. This is important. Yeah, you weren't born this that way. This is really, really important. Yeah. Is that Again, we've already discussed. We're yeah. not rich. We're not wealthy. No, didn't we're win not, the lotto. But 20, actually more than that now, 20 years ago plus, I decided that that's what I wanted to do. And everybody told me I was an idiot, you can't do that, you're crazy. He tried to drag them along. And I, I actually decided back then that the first thing I was going to do is commit to taking at least two cruises a year. Because they're cheap, you can get them for two, three hundred bucks and you know, it's four days and it didn't eat into work time and things like this. It was great. I actually met her on one of those cruises that yep. I was cruising on every, every twice a year. Because I thought the same way. I thought you had to work Monday through Friday. So mm -hmm. I only had Saturday and Sunday. I could actually get something done. And in 2006, Amy and I found a cruise in February where we could actually get on on a Thursday at 4 o'clock which meant that I could squeeze in as much work as possible before four o'clock, possibly five before the ship actually sailed, and then be back at my job on Monday. It was an insane way of thinking, but I met this beautiful person. And, and, and what I did was took that two times a year and turned it into four times a year, and because that was the most affordable way to cruise. And, and then I lived only two hours from a port, so it was easy for me to do that. Over the course of the next 20 plus years, I just increased it slowly. Okay, I'm gonna be gone for a month this time. I'm going to be gone for uh, six weeks this time. I'm gonna go away for two weeks here, two weeks there, and two weeks there. And I just modeled my life in such a way that I could do that. Now, back then, 
I worked when I traveled, so I learned how to work while I was on the road. Today, digital nomad life and work from home or work from anywhere opportunities are everywhere. Back then, it wasn't so much. I just had to make creative. my own life that yeah. way. So you Create the life. How this all came about was I talking to her and I'm thinking, okay, this is now 15 years after I'd met her. We actually hadn't seen each other in that entire time, yeah. but we met again the second time. And I said to her, I know you've never been on an airplane. This is important to me. Will you at least try? Now, if she'd have told me no deal, I, I would have had to have a conversation with her about what my goals were and what her goals were. And if I, she said, I don't want to get on an airplane, I would have thought of something different. I'd like, for example, we're going to be taking a transatlantic cruise. We're literally getting on a boat in Florida, going to Spain, going to spend that 40 days in Spain, and then come back, get on another boat that sails us back to the United States. That entire trip is because I wanted to see what it was like to take a transatlantic flight or a transatlantic trip cruise. on a cruise. So I honestly would much rather be dancing and singing in the karaoke bar for 13 days than to be sitting on a flight for 14 yeah. hours. So yeah. uh, it was just an example, just something to try. But if she just said no way, it may have meant that we didn't have a relationship because that was important to me. Yeah. But it was important to her as well yeah. to try. Yeah. And the minute she tried it, she was. Ugh, I was in love. Time. He even asked me stepping on the plane for the first time. He got me my first flight to Arizona, which was supposed to be a quick two and a half hours that ended up with really bad weather, and we ended up having to stop in El Paso and refuel and the whole thing. We ended up taking. Four, four flights, flights instead of one that day, but it turned out to be a great experience for her. It was a great her. experience, and one of the things, as soon as we stepped on the plane, I'd never walked down a gangway, I'd never looked for a seat, I'd never checked in on a flight. It was so life-changing, and then to see someone that you love and know that has my back, when I saw him and he looked up at me and Jay says, are you nervous? It was so funny because I thought, I hadn't felt nerves in a long time, actually. <laughs> Since we'd been together, I've never known anxiety. I go scuba diving, which is something I've always wanted to do. We breathe under the water, a long way yeah. under the water. And um, I don't have time for fear, guys. Yeah. I love this man, he loves me, and we discuss what our dreams are. And we do what it takes to make those dreams come true, regardless if it's going to Sonic or if it's going to Spain. It's having those conversations about what can I do to make your dreams come true and that we can do this together. And if there's some type of compromise, then you compromise, but you, you have the conversation and you discuss your, your, your bucket list and dreams, which is our big conversation. Communication is the absolute key. Absolutely. We dream together, we live together, we love together. Um, that's part of what makes it work. And we're not mind readers by any by means. Any. We, so, we would love to be, but we're not. So to wrap this up, we've been talking about the seven tips to absolutely just have an amazing, wonderful 2023. Make 2023 the best. I did allude to some of the tools that we use, so let's go over them real quick yeah. in a recap. Yeah. My number one favorite tool to use for just seeing what's available in the world is uh, Google Flights. It's free, everybody uses it. Flights.google.com. Go to the Explore tab though. You have to learn how to use it. Go to the Explore tab. It's a totally different interface. That's the first thing. The second thing I like to do is Airbnb for finding those really nice off the beaten path places and you don't have to spend three thousand dollars a week on the water you can spend six hundred dollars a month that's right. up in, in town a little bit that's right um and another thing this is a good one scott's cheap lights now if you don't know where you want to go you have no clue what you want to do but you want to be alerted all the time to those accidental airfares or those special really ridiculously low rates I love Scott's Cheap Flights for this, and we booked most of our flights from Scott's Cheap Flights. Now what Scott's does is they look for all these accidental airfares from your airport, and then they send you an email with a list of them every single day. 
They have international locations. They have domestic locations. They have every weekend you get what's the hottest cheap flight getaways for the weekends. So really quick booking and other ones are long-term planned. You're, you're booking now for your August vacation next year. Speaking of that, I'm sitting outside with Bailey. Him and I are in the sun when I get a holler from this one the other day that says, do we want to spend my, my birthday in Ecuador? Ecuador. Ecuador. August of next year, guys. So yeah. this guy is always watching so, Scott's So when Scott flight. sends us a message and I'm looking, I'm like, Where do we want to go? We go to Ecuador. We go to Jeppo <laughs> for, for like, you know, 300 bucks round trip. Let's go to Let's Ecuador go. for my birthday. Why not? So, so this is like Inspiration yeah. 101. And even if you don't do anything with it, they're all free tools. Now, yeah. Scott's, dream together, guys. Yeah, yeah, Scott's does have a membership, which is great. Uh, I actually am a member because I do a lot of flights, but I was a free member of Scott's in the very beginning for like three or four years. I got my very first round trip flight to Spain using Scott's cheap flights. I paid $425 for a round trip flight on United with bags. So understand, it, it tells you when the good deals are, but here's the key. You got to act fast. That's that the is kind true. of thing that, that you might have to just go ahead and book that flight and book it now when you can and then call your spouse and go, hey babe, guess, guess what? what? We're going to <laughs> fill in the blank for fill in the blank. I like 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 this year I got a you want to go to Portugal for your birthday and walk the Camino? That sounds great. Yeah, that, that was last year. It was, it was like, the greatest. It was a crazy deal. Yeah. Like, hey, let's do that for your birthday. It was unbelievable. So we ended up it's funny, we ended up walking right. 400 miles for her birthday <laughs> but it was beautiful it was and, uh, it, and it was met some of the best friends we will have forever who are actually joining us on oh, our the cruise, big cruise. And, uh, in, in can't wait Miguel days. so so we will be seeing you guys more and notifying after the cruise we want to thank you so much for joining us thank right you. here at JL cafe we love you guys our little coffee talk let you know what's going on God love bless. you so much God bless you and uh, Happy New Year! Ah! Or Feliz, Feliz Año Nuevo! Nuevo. <laughs> Woo!